Hi Taurus, this is your soulmate reading for January 21. Let's have a look and see what's coming through. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Um, so yeah, definitely do check out, um, just wanted to say as well, definitely do check out the other readings. You can always find more information as well because sometimes, you know, your sun might tell you one thing, your moon might sort of connect things together a little bit more be very exciting. So um, also if you'd like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below, which is just below the title of the video. And in there, um, you'll find instructions on how you can enter for the free reading giveaway if you would like to purchase a private paid reading. Information is also down below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing as well is my intention items are on Etsy. So um, definitely do check those out as well, which is right here. <laughs> um, so these are... Um, beaded, they're meditated with, and they're saged. This is the Evil Eye Bracelet, um, but this one's for love, twin flame, soulmate, happiness, confidence, health, wealth, success. Um, so yeah, do check those out as well. They are on there. There's also necklaces, anklets, decoration pieces, tassels, face masks, um, beautiful items like charms and letters as well. Um, so do check those out if you are interested. Everything is in the description box below for your convenience. So let's have a look and see, Taurus. And also check out the review section to see how other people have seen results of these items because they are quite spectacular. Okay, so your message here is the thought of your body on mine keeps me up at night. Okay. So obviously like there are physical thoughts and feelings coming through from the other person that they want to share here, which we obviously can see. So they're thinking about you in a very physical way, as we can pick up on, and that keeps them, keeps them up at night. Okay, let's see what's coming through on your side. And then their side and then the outcome. So we've got the full here. So on your side, you may be feeling a little bit more emotionally detached, kind of doing your own thing, focusing on yourself. The full indicates a journey, it indicates, you know, fresh starts, new beginnings. But I don't feel like you can really run away from this person this person who thinks a lot about you. Um, I mean, I don't see you necessarily running away, but I definitely see you kind of either suppressing or kind of walking in another direction. And the Page of Swords here really does go to show that no matter how hard you try, for some reason, you're always led back to this person. And, um, you know, it, it just feels like, oh, you know, no matter what I do, I'm always led back to this person for a specific reason. Don't know why don't know how. It's like I try and go in a different direction and I still somehow take a detour and end up still back at this person somehow. So that's really interesting that I'm picking that up. Yeah, see, that's what's coming through. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles here shows that, you know, eventually in the long term, you do want to settle down. You do want happiness. You do want fulfillment. Some of you, you know, you might be like, oh, I'm not sure. at this very point in time. Maybe I have other options, maybe I have other choices, but something still leads you back to this person. And I think there's a reason. I think that there is a spiritual connection between the two of you. I also feel, well, because, you know, it's a soulmate connection, but also the fact that, you know, you may be thinking, oh, you know, it's maybe too difficult, things like that. But you also have to let this person, like, come to you, you know, and also work things out with the person in accordance to how things have gone, okay? If you, for example, have shut down this person, then of course it would be in your favour to go to them. If they were the ones that completely shut down things with you, then it would be in their favour to come to you. You know, it really depends on your connection, but for some reason, you just can't let go of this person, and they are definitely thinking about you a lot, and that's something that's coming through here. Um, you know, and, and if your end goal really is the kind of long-term aspect, and they do want that as well, then I, I don't see, you know, why there has to be the friction in between. I mean, it could be that something could be worked out here, but of course you have to kind of make sure it's equal and mutual on both sides. Um, that's interesting. Very interesting reading, for sure. So you've got the High Priestess on their side. They're becoming much more intuitive, much more awakened, totally in their power, very intellectual. They know what they want. They're not going to stop um, at it. And I see here in January really thinking about how they can 
you know, essentially achieve what they want, which is commitment, stability, security, potentially even marriage as well. And if you don't go into their picture, I feel like, you know, maybe they may choose to sort of um, progress forward anyway. So the thing with the Queen of Pentacles is that this is them thinking about you, but this is them thinking about themselves. And the Queen of Pentacles could indicate that perhaps you are, you know, um, this, this soulmate could be a Virgo, Taurus or a Capricorn themselves. But this Queen of Pentacles is also about strength. It's also about um, thinking about you, respecting your decisions as well, not forcing you to do anything. If you choose to go towards them, great. If you choose to let them come to you, also that's okay. But at the end of the day, um, I think that there's a sense here of um, going round in this situation, right? You kind of feel like you're going round and round and round. Definitely feel like action needs to be taken um, to understand where you are, to understand where they are. You've got the Eight of Wands here, which is about progression, about growth, movement. So the Eight of Wands is quite important because the Eight of Wands is literally about growth. It's about um, messages or communication that could happen. It's about them wanting to move forward. And you might think to yourself, oh, nah, don't really want to. Now, it's interesting because the roles could potentially be reversed here as well, but this is what I'm seeing. And then for the outcome, you've got the Knight of Swords, which means that one person really wants to make things work, and the other one's a little bit like, nah. No thanks. I care a little bit more about myself and my own adventures right now, and myself, like, you know, quite self-centered energy. And then the other person's like, but I want to make things work. So you've got here this really, like, powerful energy of, like, come on, let's do something, let's make things work. And then you've got the Four of Swords, which is, no thanks, no thanks. So you just, like, sit here and... I don't want to do anything necessarily. So you've got the Queen of Cups here, which is about emotion. I feel like this person here, okay, your soulmate, seems to be quite emotional and very, very heightened emotionally in regards to things, especially with the High Priestess, water energy, especially with the Queen of Cups. Quite vulnerable. Oh, we've got a lot of cards here, but the only one that flipped upwards like this, so I could see it, was the Six of Wands. So they want to take things further with you. They can't stop thinking about you. And... They have very like physical sexual thoughts about you as well. So this is your reading Taurus. Now if this resonated, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. In the description box below is information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway. Um, and yes. Oh yeah, my intention items as well, which are on Etsy. So do take care everyone. Um, and I hope you're all staying safe happy, healthy, and well, and uh, yes, I'll see you all very, very soon for my next video, and don't forget to subscribe as well. Bye!